Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, Total OS today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. All right, well this I think is my uh, first Dummies Linux uh, video for this year. I thought I would show uh, uh, something that you may or may not know if you are a beginner to the world of Linux-based operating systems and that is taking a look at different or how to install different DEs or different uh, desktop environments. Now, in simplified terms, basically a desktop environment is how your computer looks by default with different pieces of installed software that are uh, cross-compatible, say with uh, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Kubuntu, basically uh, software and, and desktop environments that are compatible within the, shall I say, Ubuntu family. Now what you see here is the Kubuntu de desktop. Uh, most of you who see my channel have probably seen me uh, do videos from the Ubuntu Unity desktop here. Now this is just a screenshot, but it's I'm usually either from here, doing something from here, from this desktop, you know, maybe Windows 7, maybe Windows 8, or maybe something totally different in a virtual box. But usually I'm either in this or in Windows 7. However, for this particular recording right now, I decided to install the Kubuntu desktop. No particular reason. I just got, you know, sometimes I get bored with what I have and want to play with something different. Now, it's not necessary to install different DEs. Say you install Ubuntu Unity and you're quite happy and just want to keep it that way, that's perfectly fine. But in my situation here, I have different desktop environments installed, such as Kubuntu here. So, so how do you do it? Well, let's say you, you are in the Ubuntu Unity uh, desktop environment. Of course, if you were in that, the, the top left here, you would have the dash and you can just type in either Ubuntu Software Center, or I think just Center, but in my situation here, I'll just type in center, and this will get me to the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. Now, you can also install different desktop environments through the terminal. Uh, if you don't want to mess with the terminal, that's perfectly fine. But let's say I already have Kubuntu, but let's say I wanted to install Lubuntu desktop. Now, if you type in, if I can spell it right, if you type in Lubuntu, it's not automatically gonna, going to get you to the Lubuntu desktop download. So what you want to do is type Lubuntu dash desktop. And let's say I wanted to install this. And by the way, there's a rating here, but you can click that once. Now before you click install, let's say you wanted to take a or get more information about this. Type in or click more info. And this is going to give you some very, very brief information. Sometimes there's a screenshot, sometimes there's not. But here at the bottom, you will have optional add-ons, optional pieces of software. Now, if you don't know really what you're doing but want to try this, you can just leave this in default mode and install everything or almost everything. But let's say, oh, let's say, you know what, I really don't need Bluetooth and all that. I'm just going to unclick that and leave that the way it is. That's perfectly fine. Apply changes, install, and just wait till, you know, till until it installs. Once again, if you're not sure, you can just leave it at default or really just click everything and install everything. It won't hurt it. You may wind up with some pieces of software that you don't need. That's okay. You can uh, delete or uninstall them later. Now, I won't do this because I really don't need the Lubuntu desktop, but you would click install and you would wait for it to download and install. And you would have this desktop environment installed. Now, the way to go into that specific environment, you would have to log out, okay, choose which desktop environment you want, log in, and there you would have that specific desktop environment. In my situation, I logged out of Ubuntu Unity and logged into my Kubuntu desktop here. I won't do it because this will end the recording and I don't want to end it just yet. But once again, this is just a tip. 
or maybe give you an idea of what you can do with different desktop environments featuring Linux. And if you get bored like I am and want to mess with this, that's perfectly fine. It should be safe. As always, make sure you back up any, any important files just in case because you never know. And who knows, you may wind up you know, favoring something that you never thought you would favor over your default desktop. Myself, I still like Ubuntu Unity. It works just fine for me. But I like to try out different things such as the Kubuntu desktop, Zubuntu. I think I have Linux Mint Cinnamon installed in this desktop environment. Make sure you have enough um, hard drive space, of course, to install all this stuff. And if you're going to try Kubuntu desktop, you know, I recommend you have at least two gigs of RAM, preferably more. Now, the last thing here, if you haven't already, vote for the best Linux desktop environment. There are approximately eight days left. I will have links below in the show notes. And if you like what you saw KDE, just go ahead and vote for it right here. Right here. If you don't, vote for something else. Well, that's it for this Quickies Dummix, uh, Dummix? <laughs> yeah, Dummix, Dummies Linux video. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.